What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and as you guys can see we got a box. Alright you guys, so about a week ago Fair RC had a special going where you could get a mystery box for $89.99, two RCs for $89.99. The only kicker was you didn't know what you were going to get. I right, hence a mystery box. So as you guys can see, I have not opened up this box yet. Let's open it up. Let's see what we got with this mystery box deal. Okay. So here is one. Easy RC, put that over to the side, and here is another box, Rock Hobby. Let's open up this Easy RC and see what we got. Our first mystery box, the Rock Hop Easy RC Arizona, and hopefully you guys can see right up here, uh, right there, that little red one. I already have an Arizona. I already did a review on it, so that is one. So that's one of them. Now let's open up this guy and see what it is that we got. Okay. Okay, I can mess with this one. Okay. Now this is one I do not have. This is the Modrich, Mogrich, Mogrich 118 scale, basically a Unimog. So, in all FMS glory, the styrofoam box, and here it is. Here it is, you guys, all nicely packaged in the box. Styrofoam all over the place in here. In here also is the controller. Set that over there. You have a battery that comes in it. There's a battery. And you get in the back here. Hello, thank you for purchasing the Mugridge RC tracked, tracked vehicle. We hope you will enjoy it. Please share your experience, let us know what you think, and we will try our best to help you within 24 hours. Cool. And what else we got? So we got a T-wrench, a charger, put that to the side, and you got your Unimog. All right, you guys, there it is. So this part right here, the hinge side, wasn't on correctly so I just put that on this thing is actually pretty cool looking it's like old Unimog oh there we go so here you flip the hood and you have access your battery my guess is going right there close that all up okay and you do have got a little sidetrack there <laughs> So you do have lights all the way around. You got lights up here, but they're just lights, but they don't have any lights in there. You probably have lights here in the front. Uh, that would be cool if these lit up up here, but it doesn't look like there's any lights up there. Um, this thing is kind of cool looking. I kind of like it. So. The bed here, all of this does fold down. 
I don't think you're ever going to, except for the front part, but I don't think you're ever going to be riding it around like that, but it does all fold down. The doors do not open. Uh, the only thing that opens is the hood and the back part here where you can put stuff on. It's actually kind of cool looking. I kind of like this, I kind of dig it. Uh, straight axles, the shocks on here, they are friction shocks, no oil in the shocks at all. The tires, these are the same tires that came with the, what was that thing called? The FCX24 Power Wagon. The Power Wagon, same wheels and tires that came with the Power Wagon. Um, it looks like there is enough room in the interior to stick a little guy in there. So I might end up doing that. I have, I have a little guy around here somewhere where I should be able to stick him in here. Um, of course, fully proportional steering. Actually, the steering does look, does seem to be pretty good. Um, it does not have a two-speed trans, just a single-speed transmission. Again, this is a raw hobby. It is not the FCX24 chassis. In the package also comes the instruction manual to this thing, tells you what to do, what not to do, blah, 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 blah. You get your controller. Uh, this is the same controller that comes came with my K10 that hopefully you guys can see is right up there. The K10 also brought the same kind of controller. So the steering, it does feel pretty dang good. Here you go. Hey, how are you? So the steering does feel pretty damn good. Um, on the inside here, you do have your... Oh, we got to check this out. Supposedly, this thing has six channels. Hmm. <laughs> so you do have on here your steering trim, your throttle oh wait oh, 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 hold on so you have your st steering th trim here your throttle trim here you have a f reset button right up here you have an a b mood there is a reverse steering angle button uh there is also so your trim you have your plus and your minus, same thing with your throttle, plus and minus. You have channel four train, it says, then channel five climbing, and then channel six, and there's nothing there. Uh, your on off, the on off switch is right there. And then I just noticed that there is a button here on the side. So the controller does take four triple A batteries. So let me throw some batteries in here and see what this thing looks like. All right, so we got batteries in this thing. Let's start off by turning, and of course, lights blink on there. That's on. And the on off switch for this guy is nowhere to be seen. Oh, the on off switch is right there. So let's turn that on. Look at that. You got lights blinking. Whoa, buddy, where are you going? All right, so as you just saw, there is headlights on here. There are rear lights when you go in reverse. So you go in reverse, you get rear lights. This thing's actually pretty quiet. Okay, so in A mode on the re on the receiver here, when you have it in A mode, you're able to do all your adjustments. When you switch over to B mode and you hit the throttle plus right there is when the lights come on. So you got no lights, you got your low beams, 
You hit the throttle button again. You got your high beams. That does nothing. And you turn them off. So that's pretty cool. Now, I kind of wish that there were lights up here. That would be pretty cool. So what we're going to wind up doing, take this little guy outside to the crawler course, and we're going to see what this guy can do. All right, you guys, so we're out here at the mini crawler course, and I decided to bring out the Arizona and the Unimog. It's not the name, but that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> decided to bring out the Unimog. So I decided to bring them both out to see how they perform. I mean, technically, I already did a video on the yellow one, the Arizona, and I'll put that link over here somewhere. So I already did, put, did a video about that one. Uh, you guys can check that out there. But now we got the yellow one, so let's do a, uh, see how it performs on this. Uh, I want to apologize, I have neglected the crawler course a little bit, more like a lot. Uh, as you guys can also see here so it has been overgrown i would have loved to take the unimog over here but unfortunately i gotta clean that out so let's get these two guys and see how they do over here All right, you guys, and there it is, the Unimog, the Mohig, or Mahog, or whatever the name was, and the Arizona, uh, the $89.99 mystery box from Fair RC. So again, that Arizona, I already have one. I'll post the video here. Uh, don't know what else really to do with that thing. The Unimog, 
don't know what else to do with that thing other than probably give them away or something. I don't know. I'll probably do a giveaway with it. Um, I still have that 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And hey, there we go. There's two of them here that I might do a giveaway with. So if you guys want, go down, comments, let me know if you want to do, if I should do this giveaway. Um, also hit up the store, pick yourself up a shirt. We don't have hats yet, but pick yourself up a shirt, pick yourself up a couple stickers, hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys in another video. You'll have a good one. Keep our safe.